Moses, Lamentation, the third chapter, beginning at verse number 19.
Same way y'all say at home together. Yeah. They got to get together. They come. That's all right. Amen. It's coming. 
man in verse number 23 talks about God's mercy in verse 22 that we are not consumed by the Lord's mercy. And if there's anything that we all understand this morning as we are sitting here this morning, we are simply here because of God's mercy. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. And then verse 23 says that we are here on Sunday. And we don't have to worry about making it through Sunday on Saturday's mercy. Y'all been hear me? Because it said in verse 23 that they are new every morning. Every morning. Y'all missed that right there. Every they are new every morning. In other words, I don't have to worry about the music of God's mercy on Saturday because <laughs> when Sunday get here, God will give us a new mercy. And God know we need new mercy. Amen. Amen. And then this is what I like. He does it because great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. I want to talk this morning uh, from the subject that our God is faithful. That there is a sermon by the still. Because there's not a person in this room that can even try to bring an argument to me that our God is not faithful. But some of us here know this morning that in spite of how faithless we have been, our God has still been faithful. Amen. 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 We thank God again for you. Good to see you. Amen. Uh, nephew Jamal. Y'all remember Jamal? Yeah. Amen. 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 He's here this morning. Good to see him. Amen. 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 All the way from New Jersey. I'm grateful for you this morning. Our God is faithful. This morning, my brothers and sisters, I discovered that God will do exactly what he said he would do. The songwriter even said that he will stand by his word. He will come through. And many people may ask, why would you make that statement? Well, the reason why I make that statement is because our God is faithful. And because our God is faithful, that means that God would not fail, he would not forget, he will not fall to God, will not change. God can and will not disappoint because God is faithful. In the vernacular of my late grandmother, the beat, he means what he says. And then God says what he means. In other words, God is not like a lot of folk. God will do everything that God said he'll do. If you don't believe it, let me put you on Bible ground in Exodus chapter 34, uh, around verse 6. It says, the Lord, the Lord is compassionate, gracious God. He showed the anger of how he in love and faithfulness. We simply mean that God is faithful. Then Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 9 says, Know therefore that the Lord your God he is God. He is the faithful God, keeps his covenant of love to a thousand generations. Why? Because God is faithful. Then Jim in Joshua chapter 21, around verse 45, says, Now even one of the Lord's promises to the house of Israel failed. Everything that God said he was going to do, God did it. Why? Because God is faithful. And somebody that's sitting here this morning, you might feel defeated and troubled. Somebody sitting here this morning, you may feel joyless and faithless. Somebody sitting here this morning, you may feel rejected and afflicted. You may feel weary, thirsty, and needed. But I need to tell somebody here this morning that in spite of how you may or may not feel, God is faithful. Yes, sir. Are y'all hearing me here?
she said it just another sad love song. That's racking my brain like crazy. Guess I'm all torn up, but it'll be as fast or be as slow. It doesn't let go or shake me all because of you. It's another sad love song. And Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, the cry baby Christian, the, the writer of these sad songs, is wondering how in the world is God allowing everything that's happening happen to me? In other words, I've done everything that God told me to do. All right. He told me. Sometimes it looks like God is not with you, but God 
is mine. Okay. Y'all know this is shout out. Y'all don't know what we shout out. Ladies home and more home. Mm-hmm. May 2013. 
And she said that a child of God can be stripped of everything and everything mm. but God. Thank God. Y'all missed it. Man. Thank God. She said, I've been stripped of family. I've been stripped of freedom. Matter of fact, I even lost my fortune, but I didn't lose my father. Jesus. She said, because in the midst of the storm, I've learned Ooh, how to hold on to hope. Yes, Lord. I'm trying to help somebody. Sister. 
doubt God's faithfulness. We may grow weary from our Lord. See you. 
We need to be reminded of just how faithful our God is. Yeah. Our God is faithful. Yeah. When you ride in your car, you all just think about God, how faithful you are. He just yeah. keeps your car on this time. He let that car stay on this time.